Here's today's daily shoutouts. Congratulations, guys. If you guys want a chance to win a shoutout on my next video, just leave a nice comment down below. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi. My name is Lizzie. Be sure to subscribe button and be sure to drop a like or else Barbie will wake up in the middle of the night and actually come alive. This is not a scam. So be sure to get today's video to 20,000 likes. Anyways, guys, if you guys have not watched my last video about Barbie, well, you guys really enjoyed that video. So be sure to watch that one first if you guys have not because today we're going to be doing part two And let me tell you guys I already thought the tea was hot but the tea is extra super hot and spicy today guys Like it is crazy So since the last video about controversial Barbies, haunted Barbies, scary Barbies And just really messed up Barbie dolls and Barbie facts You guys asked me to do more and dig deeper into Barbie's dirt and tea We already know that Barbie had cheated on Ken in the last video Because she got with this like hot Australian surfer dude or something or maybe it was a Californian surfer and also we already found out that somewhere online that they had said Ken was actually related to Barbie and that pretty much you know some sweet home Alabama stuff was going on not only that but Barbie was actually inspired by kind of adult like dolls where those dolls were actually kind of gag gifts that guys would buy for like wedding parties and stuff like that and not only that if you guys have watched my Bratz video you guys would know that Bratz actually got sued by Barbie so Barbie got so that Bratz came to the picture and tried to like get on the market even though Bratz dolls look completely different than Barbie dolls Barbie got jealous because Barbie dolls have been in the spotlight for a long time guys You already know like there's a lot of Barbie clothing There's a lot of Barbie dolls in the store right now Barbie toys like Barbie everything like Barbie is worldwide known and probably the most popular kids doll made to this day I believe would be a Barbie so knowing that Barbie has a lot of tea There's a lot of Barbie dolls that have been recalled and I actually got one of the Barbie dolls that did not have the best reputation and it's right here so this is actually the teen talk Barbie and today we're gonna be going into a lot of spicy facts about Barbie and this one right here called the teen talk Barbie and how this Barbie made a lot of families and parents very upset and mad but not only that I think this Barbie is supposed to talk so stay tuned at the end of the video we're gonna be unboxing this Barbie but let me tell you guys the tea about Barbie today so we're gonna talk about the teen talk Barbie and unbox it at the end but but if you guys don't know what the Teen Talk Barbie is, let me tell you. About 350,000 of these dolls were produced in July of 1992, each equipped with four recordings out of a possible 270 different possible recordings. The sayings included, will we ever have enough clothes? I want to go shopping. Okay, meet me at the mall. And last but not least, math class is tough. Math class is tough. I'll always be here to help you. Have a crush on anyone? That's a weird thing for a Barbie to say. So the reason that the last line, math class is tough, became a problem is probably pretty obvious at this point. The American ASSN of University Women commanded the dolls for reinforcing negative and sexist stereotypes of women. One group of performance artists, the Barbie Libertation Organization, took hundreds of the Teen Talk Barbie voice boxes and switched them with the G.I. Joe voice boxes, which is crazy. By October of the same year, Mattel eliminated the math class is tough recording. Recording. We did not fully consider the potentially negative implications of this phrase, said Mattel. And Mattel is, by the way, the creator of Barbie. And she actually got inspired by, by those weird dolls that were not family friendly and also by paper dolls back in the day. So she created the Barbies. So basically about those dolls was some of their voice recordings actually got mixed up with G.I. Joe's because people were finding those voice recordings of saying math class is tough to be offensive. Because they're pretty much saying that because Barbie is a woman that she cannot be good at math Yeah, there are people out there that are not good at math But just because we're women does not mean we can't be smart So obviously having a doll on the market that's kind of like degrading to people and saying like, you know As a woman that math is tough was definitely a big yikes at the time And they immediately took that doll off the market So the factor that I got my hands on it and it might say G.I. Joe stuff is crazy So there was a Barbie that was released that looked kind of like a brat doll and that's kind of iconic because Barbie wanted to sue brats. Take a look. Yeah, tell me that's not a little bit concerning. That doesn't even look like a typical Barbie. They actually call this Barbie the Botox Barbie because her face does not look proportionate or right compared to a normal Barbie's face. But even scarier than that is that you can move this Barbie doll's face around. Yeah, you can move her proportions on her face 
wherever you'd like. So that obviously was kind of a bad idea. I mean, it just doesn't seem right for a Barbie doll. Her face can actually stretch all around and you can push the buttons on her back to change her facial shape. There's different emotions on the doll's back here as you can see. I don't know what they were thinking about the doll at this time. It's actually kind of horrifying that you can stretch his face to have different emotions. But of course, this doll kind of freaked out a lot of kids because some people said that this doll was actually haunted. People reported that this doll was making faces that were not even on the list on the back. They were not even possible for the doll to even supposedly make. Like they would wake up and she had an evil smile grin on her face that was not a smirk. So obviously this doll became very controversial and quite a panic to many people. So another controversial Barbie that was made was the Barbie babysitter. So this doll right here kind of had a lot of issues. Basically it was a babysitter Barbie that actually reads a book called How to Lose Weight that advises not to eat. Which I know that we actually talked about the slumber party Barbie that actually came with a scale and also a book advising kids not to eat which is very messed up because all these controversial Barbies were like coming into the play at the time. Back then people considered those things to be normal or at least maybe they did know that it was wrong. Yet people decided to put them on the market. I don't know. These are all conspiracies but it's just crazy because putting a book out there that says do not eat is obviously a terrible influence for kids. You guys need to make sure you eat and make sure you take care of your bodies and make sure you're well nourished guys. Your weight does not define you. We also talked about the pregnant Midge doll. Basically it was Barbie's best friend Skipper and Skipper had a lesser best friend named Midge and Midge was pregnant. She actually had a baby inside of her stomach and it was just kind of scary looking all together. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. Not only that but I guess Barbie had released some animals. I think I remember when I was younger I did have one Barbie toy that I actually kind of liked because I told you guys when I was younger I would rip my Barbie's heads off. Not only that, but I would cut their hair off, scribble on their face at the time because I, I just hated my Barbies. I was a tomboy. But to say the least, there was some Barbie dogs that were created and I did have one of those ones that you walk on a leash and I was convinced it was real at a certain point of my childhood. And there was a Barbie Forever Tanner the dog and it was Barbie's brief foray into professional dog walking because Barbie became a dog walker at one point. What has Barbie not done? She's had a career of all sorts. This dog Tanner actually could eat his food and then poop it out. But then the better part is Barbie had to actually pick it up with her pooper scooper. And the pooper scooper had some loose magnets on it that actually helped the poop stick to her pooper scooper. Why did anyone think that was a good idea for children? But they actually ended up recalling this one because the little poops that the dog actually pooped became a choking hazard to children. And I don't even want to know or ask what child decided to try to eat magnetic dog poops and try to swallow them. Needless to say, kind of a strange concept for a toy, especially a Barbie. And also we had another Barbie here called Totally Tattoo Barbie. Just want to put out there, I personally have nothing against tattoos at all. But I do not have any tattoos myself yet. Barbie has had a few regrets about getting inked. Parents thought that Tokidoki Barbie might encourage kids to get tattoos. Then there was Totally Tattoo Barbie who came with temporary tattoos, including what many call a tramp stamp. So I guess some parents were offended that Barbie had a tattoo that said Ken on her because that could inspire kids to want to get tattoos maybe of their significant others and personally as much as I think tattoos are cool I would never get a tattoo of my significant other's name just because if you break up well their name is stuck on you forever and that's not a good thing kids and last but not least the Barbie that's watching you which I actually mentioned in the last video video girl might not be the best name for any type of Barbie that actually has a video camera inside of her that can watch you but not only that but a video girl can refer to an actress in a bikini who dances around in the background of rap videos which I didn't know and that's the name they gave to this Barbie but it was a real concern that this Barbie doll had a video camera in her chest that made the FBI worry that the toy might be used to film children illegally without anyone's consent that people that made this doll might be getting access to so this Barbie was kind of a concern for child's privacy that it was watching you and seeing everything that you did or that your household did because there was a camera inside of this Barbie and that by far is the most scariest Barbie of all. Maybe I will try to get my hands on that Barbie someday. It would probably be hard because that was a very scary controversial Barbie and it was taken off the market pretty fast to say the least. But now we must open the Barbie I got and see if it says anything out of the norm or if it says math is hard. Let's find out. Okay guys so I just opened up this doll and look at her. 
She has crazy hair. She has a really cool outfit though. She looks very colorful to say the least. She has some, you know, kind of cool style. And not only that, but she came with a little package of clothing. I don't see anything wrong with the doll from the start here, but I will say something that I did not expect guys because I did buy this doll for this video and I was all excited and it was supposed to be brand new and it was supposed to come with batteries that are actually, I don't even know if these batteries are made anymore, but I opened up the back here. Let me show you guys what she looks like from the back. She slides open. She has like a whole battery section in her back and these batteries here inside of her do not work. <laughs> I'm so sad. I wanted to see if she's going to say anything crazy. So honestly guys, if this video does get to 20,000 likes, I will specifically order batteries to see if my doll says anything weird with the correct batteries in it because I'm pushing her back right now. For a second I thought she was going to work. I was going to be like, it's a Christmas miracle. I'm pushing her back right now and she's not saying math is hard or anything weird, guys. So if this video does get to 20,000 likes, I will try to get this crazy controversial math Barbie to actually speak. But I am pretty upset right now that I went out of the way to buy this for you guys and it's not working. <laughs> Stupid teen talk Barbie. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to jump a like, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and be sure to leave a comment down below about Barbies and if you guys have ever owned them or if you guys like them or if they scare you. Anyways guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Be sure to follow my Instagram at Lissy Noel and my other YouTube channels. I have a gaming channel called Lissy's Life and a new vlog channel called Lissy. So go check them out. All the links will be in the description below. I love you guys. Thank you all so much for your support and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit that subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.